Wow, look at that fantastic lighting and that great angle. And there you are. Why, hello, Goji Geeks. Today we've got a fun topic. We always have fun topics on this channel, but the best topics are the ones where we make our brains hurt a little. So let's get on to that. Now, in order to properly address the topic of this video, I will be mentioning personal beliefs and such, which includes religious beliefs. So if you're not here for a religious talk, uh, I guess skedaddle or something. But uh, don't say I didn't warn you because it's my channel and I get to say what I'd like and you get to say what you'd like in the comments as well, provided that it's not too, you know, hateful. Honestly, I can see no better way to address this topic because it is very personal and it is very important to peel apart from a fundamental existential level. And that question is, as you saw in the title, should Godzilla destroy humanity? Let's assume that Godzilla did exist for a moment. Now, I do live in Japan, so I can't confirm or deny in my position whether or not Godzilla does exist, but let's go with the hypothetical of he does in this scenario. Do we as human beings deserve to be wiped out by giant monsters? Are we so evil and so depraved and so beyond a hope that we should be destroyed? Well, Generally, there are two camps for this answer. There are the people who are like, yeah, humans suck. I hate being alive and you know, sorry guys, I, I don't actually wanna make fun of people who feel like that because it's not funny, but you know, it for someone like me, like I just, I guess I see nihilism and such as kind of too bleak for my liking. So please, please don't take the jokes too seriously, but yeah, pretty much the people who are like, yeah, I hate being alive and uh, I think that if Godzilla was real, we as a human species deserve to be wiped out forever. And then there's the other camp who believe that human sanctity is real and that we should not be destroyed, we deserve to be preserved. But of course, I'm going to put myself in a middle camp. So what does that middle camp look like exactly? And how can there really be a middle camp? It's one or the other, right? We either should die definitively or we shouldn't, and we're wonderful, and we are like gods, and we should stay alive, and we're better than everything. Um, I will say that humankind, in my opinion, is above any other creature, and that is because we were made in the image of God, so I would say that we should not be destroyed. However, and this is where the middle camp part comes in, right? We do terrible evil, and we do destroy ourselves. And we have this evil that is inherent in our nature. That's why our world is falling apart all the time, right? I mean, when have we ever known a period of true peace on the earth? We haven't. There's always been some shenanigans going on, and that's because human hearts, and something else, are behind all of these catastrophes and disasters. So humans are in fact very evil, and by their nature, by themselves, we are pretty much deserving of being destroyed. But, and here's the but, we don't have to be. So I don't know if you remember, it was a couple days ago, I put out my Godzilla 67th anniversary motivational video and I told all of you that you each had a purpose on earth, you matter, and there is a unique design for you and a unique path for your life that you can choose, right? Um, and this is, <laughs> this is where it gets religious, right? And so, that is because I believe in God, and I believe that every human being has a right to live, not because we're good, but because we have God within us. We are made in his image, therefore we should preserve ourselves. Yes, we do deserve hellfire and damnation simply for existing. Pretty harsh, right? It's definitely harsh. Um, but because God gave of himself for us, right, we don't have to. We don't have to be hopeless. Do you realize um, whenever you set a goal for yourself or whenever you get up in the morning even, you are striving for something? But why would you strive for something if there was nothing to strive for, right? If there wasn't something deep down inside you that said, yeah, I really, I really need to get up this morning and go to work and make an income and keep myself alive, right? That's what it's all about, surviving. And then there's other people who would prefer to thrive rather than survive, but there is something within all of us that is motivated, that wants to achieve and strive. And that is why I say human beings, if Godzilla was real, should protect themselves. 
Yes, Godzilla is an intelligent being, according to my observations, and he matters too. But humans come first simply because we were given morality and consciences and the capacity for love and good and building things and our civilizations, right? We are the apex, even if Godzilla is much bigger and stronger than we are, right? Those who are made in the image of God cannot be trumped. Now, it would be interesting if Godzilla was like the harbinger of the apocalypse, ha, huh, may have something to do with the book I'm writing, um, where Godzilla was sent to judge mankind, which I think would be a fascinating concept. And in that case, if you're being sent by God to judge mankind, ain't nothing gonna stop you. So we may as well not even try. But let's assume that Godzilla was just a product of an experimental failure or scientific mishap, such as the first Godzilla, right? Nuclear. Um, we need to clean up our act, obviously, and learn from our mistakes and try not to repeat what we've done. But we need to preserve ourselves and we need to protect ourselves because we need to know that we matter as a species. We are fundamentally important. I know that's very hard nowadays to understand because we're being taught from all angles that that's not true. But like I said, every day that you wake up and every day you feel bad when you don't wake up or, or really want to, right? When you don't, you oversleep or something or you miss a deadline, you feel bad. But why is that? When you're rude to someone and you shouldn't have been, there's that should there, right? That should, that could, that deserve, worthy. Words like that imply that there is something else going on, something bigger behind the scenes something grander than you or I, but it's something that we have the privilege of taking part in. That's why I believe in God. That and many other reasons, but I don't want to bore you to tears with that. That's just my thought on the concept. This has been a pretty, uh, a big question going around the fan base, actually. A lot of people seem to be of the belief that Godzilla should wipe us all out, and I, I think that's a bit too bleak for my liking, as I said. And it's really not something that I choose to believe in, because... Yes, we do make mistakes. It's cool that Godzilla is there to show us up when we screw up, right? That is cool. That's something I love about Godzilla. He keeps us in check, kind of like God does, keeps us in check, right? So I guess it depends on what lens you view him through, but I still say humans matter. You matter. There is a point to your life, just like there's a point to mine. I am discovering it more every day. Every book I write, every video I put out, all the people that I reach sometimes, right? It's really cool. So you can do the same thing. You're here, you're alive. You wake up every morning, you have to go do something. So just food for thought. You matter and I hope you realize that. And uh, God bless you and may the geek be with you. That's what I've got to say for today, guys. Take care.